Hello and welcome. Welcome to this How To class, where we are learning how to join your Tinkercad classroom and begin drawing. The first thing you will need is your login code. And now you will find that login code. This is not necessarily your login code. This is only for 7B in 2020. If this is another time or another place, um, you will have a different code. And the place you will find that is in your OneNote folder. And you'll find that in a class that is called Getting Into Tinkercad. And there is the code that you will use. Do not use this code if you are not class 7B in 2020. Go to your OneNote. If you do not know how to go to your OneNote, go to the Nanango State High School YouTube channel and look for the OneNote guide for students. By watching this, you will, f you will be able to work out how to get into your OneNote to be able to get this. But right now, I'm going to assume that you all know how to get into your OneNote. Next, you need to choose your web browser correctly. If you are normally using Internet Explorer, uh, it will not work for you. If you're going to use or try and use Internet Explorer for Tinkercad, you will run into lots and lots of problems, so do not use it. The browsers you should use are either Chrome, okay, so that's Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. These are the two different types of browsers that you can use to draw in Tinkercad. For this demo, I will be using Microsoft Edge. So, first thing you do is simply type in Tinkercad. Select Tinkercad.com and you will come to this screen. Um, once, you, once you come to this screen, uh, um, we're going to go to sign in. So select sign in up in the top right hand corner right there. And you're going to students join your class. So go to students join your class and type in your class code. Now this class code is the one we were just speaking about. So that's it there, RXTU. Okay, once you've got that typed in, select go to my class. And now you need to type in your nickname. I'm time joining today under, a, uh, I guess, a secret nickname that I've given myself. So if you look here, here is our class. I've put myself in as Stephen Test. So my nickname is the first three letters in my first name and the first three letters in my second name. Now that's something you need to remember. Your nickname is the first three letters in your first name and the first three letters in your second name. That is your nickname. So that is what you enter here. S-T-E uh, in lowercase. T-E-S. So that's the first three letters from Stephen and the first three letters from Test. And now I say, that's me. And we are in. Okay, once you're here, check and make sure that it is you. That's me there, Stephen Test. Uh, of course, if you, if you um, want to get excited, you can put in your own avatar there and you're welcome to do that. Uh, and straight away, we go to create new designs. Now, your first job for your first class in working with Tinkercad is to make a trophy celebrating um, celebrating your ability to be able to draw in Tinkercad. Now, what I, the trophy has some rules. Number one, I'm going to bring that box out there and it has to be a certain size. And that size is going to be 120 millimeters by Now, to, to zoom out like that, I just scrolled out by um, 80 millimeters. Okay, and its height, watching me, is 5 millimeters. And there's the base for our trophy. Okay, now that base, if you look there, see, when I click on the side there, it shows me the size, 120 there by 80. 
So all I did was click on that side, then go over and click in there to be able to change that value. Now, if I want to change the height, I click in this one in the center, and that tells me that it's five millimeters high. Now, I've got it in portrait position there. I don't really like it in portrait position, so I'm just going to grab these arrows here and turn it around to 90 degrees so that it's in landscape position. Now, scrolling in, I'm going to bring it closer. Okay, and now I'm going to create a portrait and I'm going to do that quickly. Um, but the main things I need you to know is that over here you have the shapes that you can use. Okay, and they're all your basic shapes. If you go in here, there are a whole lot more different types of shapes that you can use. For this, I would like you to use your basic shapes, but know that after this project today you are you can use pretty much any shape you like so um, if you'd just like to watch I'll show you a trophy that I'm going to design for myself today okay I'm going to copy and paste this so that I've got two of them So I just control C and then control V and that gives me a second one. Now with this second one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller um, and I'm going to make it to scale a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold in the shift key and grab that and just drag it into 29, 28. Um, I'm going to make it 27 millimeters and that's brought it down in scale, both in height, because remember our height of this one was 50. Our height of this one is now 45. So that's come down in scale. If you look over here, I'm going to change it into a hole like that. And now I'm going to select that. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to grab that one as well. Um, and this is important because what I want to do now is align them. And this is the align tool over here. And I'm going to align it that way. And I'm going to align it that way. And I'm going to align it bump them both with the top like that. So now those two um, shapes are completely aligned and that align tool is important and now I'm going to go up to here and that is a group tool so I'm going to group that like that and amazingly you can see now we've got a hole in the center of that shape because I took the shape, I copied it, I scaled it down in size and then I aligned them and now we've got a great big dish in there and that's what I'm looking at as a part of my trophy and now I'm going to speed myself back up again I'm just going to slow it down again for a second, just to point out, um, because I'm not sure I pointed it out quite well enough before, up here we've got solid and hole. So if you've got something that you want to put a hole through, you just change whatever your shape is to hole, and you position that where you would like your hole to be, and then you group it with the thing you would like your hole in, and then you group like that. So now we have a hole through the center of our trophy there. Now let's again take this one. I'm just going to move that out there and I'm going to control C and control V it. Uh, and again I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller but in scale than the other one. I'm going to change it to a hole. I'm going to Align the two like this and like this and then I'm going to align them to the top like that. I'm going to group them and again 
we have a hole all the way through. Well, it's actually not quite all the way through because I did scale it down. Now, looks like it's all the way through. Just like that. Okay, so there's those two important tools I'd like you to remember. One being the group tool, and we have to select two things to be able to show that. One being the group tool, which is that one there, and the other one being the align tool. And um, so there you go. There's my very ordinary trophy, um, and I'd love you to make something so much better than what you see there that makes a real trophy that shows that you're drawing really, really well. Uh, the important things are your align tool, when you want to align two different shapes, in your group tool. And, um, well, have a great time. Enjoy it. This is your project. Your first project when playing with Tinkercad is to create your own trophy like that. The best two that get sent to me will be printed out on our 3D printer. Have a fabulous day. Bye.